Alright, today we are going around the Isle of Man and looking for the best autumn colour. We're starting with Balaglass Glen. Balaglass Glen is one of our favourite walks to do on the Isle of Man. It is really beautiful here. It goes through a broad leaf forest and then onto a pathway that goes along this river with lots of waterfalls and rapids on it. We've just walked through the, uh, the forest and we're going to go see the river, aren't we? And the waterfalls. which is our favourite walk and it's beautiful in autumn and the best part of it is that you can see wallabies here there are wild wallabies living here although not many people know about this place mainly because it is almost impossible to find it unless you know where it is and the road leading here is so covered in potholes that you have to drive 4x4 four four or just not worry about your car to get here <laughs> through all those potholes but it is one of our favourite places isn't it? Yep. Are you looking for wallabies? So the reason there are wild wallabies here is because they escaped from the adjoining wildlife park about 50 years ago. Something like that wasn't it? Wild back, that's for sure. Obviously this was a good environment for them to live in and they populated and now there's quite quite a lot. Mm -hmm. Well it is a wetland, this place. No, no, it's a worry about. All right, Julie, I think that's enough. Bye. <laughs> oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> One of the best things about this park are all these gnarly trees here. You can hear them creaking now. Good place to be for Halloween. It certainly is. Awesome Halloween location thinking about it mm. love this place gives you a lo lovely feeling it does in the winter this becomes pretty much impossible It is such a magical place, this. It's so beautiful here and we really do feel so relaxed and happy when we, every time we come for a walk here. And there's hardly anybody else comes here. It's very rare to see another person walking around here. All of these trees are covered in this beautiful moss. It is such a deep green colour. It's gorgeous. There used to be more walks around here, but they've closed quite a few of them. That is now closed. Mm. Many parts are very muddy here, so you have to trudge through quite a bit of mud and walk through water. But it's worth it. Mm.
you see the wallaby, Julia? Every time we walk here, I feel such a sense of peace and calm. It is just so beautiful. You're first. Is it important to be the first? Can you see all the moss that is covering all these trees? Mm -hmm. It's beautiful. But it only seems to cover trees up to like a meter up, mm, and then it stops. Good. Maybe it needs the obviously the flow of the water is going to suck it up. Yeah, I suppose the moisture. Uh, from the wetlands. Yeah. I think that's that enough. Smell as well when she's going up and down on it. It's like a, you think? Yeah, it's like a sewage smell. Yeah, yeah, it's not it very pleasant. I was thinking that it grows like a mm. <laughs> Well, it's decaying leaves and algae growing in the water. Yeah. So yeah, it is a very, very unpleasant smell. Yeah. It's probably why the other name for a toilet is, is a bog. Oh yeah. Yeah. I love this part where the uh, pathway is sort of raised and it goes over all these gnarled tree roots. It's kind of sad standing on a tree. Yeah, I don't know if these tree roots are alive or dead. Not sure. But it's a beautiful spot. And especially with all the autumn colour. Well, there's greens from the moss, deep green from the moss, and oranges and red from all the leaves and the ferns that are dying off. It's beautiful. Well done. That is just completely waterlogged. Oh, that's getting quite deep. Watch out for the air, just kind of, there's a gap there. That is one of the reasons why there aren't very many people walking here. Yep. The path has completely disappeared on the water. Are your feet still dry? Good. I think they're waterproof. It's it's never gone wet. Oh, that's really deep. Yep, that's why I went to the coast. It's an adventure, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Can't wait till Christmas. Yeah. So I can finally play a song that is always stuck in my head. And I won't have any problems anymore with singing it. Which song is that? Jingle Bells? No. Ugly Christmas Sweater. Ugly Christmas Sweater? Yeah, it's one of my favourites. Don't think, don't think I know that one. You do realise folks will be putting up the Christmas decorations on Sunday. We are. As soon as Halloween is over, ah. Christmas decorations go up in our house. It's again! Stood right there. So what did you just find? A cute wallaby munching on grass. Well done. Good job spotting. I found two. I found under the, under the spiky leaves. Yeah, I did a limbo. <laughs> you did a limbo under the spiky yeah. leaves. Yeah, can you do it? Can I do a limbo? Yeah. Uh, not that low. <laughs> <laughs> I can. Wonderful. Oh, you okay? Yep. Yeah. You seem to be heading down a more difficult pathway here. Yeah. Adventurous. Can I have some water, please? I'm through. Looks interesting up ahead. Yep. Wait, wait, Julia, wait. Daddy's going to have to go first. Am I? Thanks. Well, look. I thought we might push Mommy in first. Oh dear. Simple enough. Okay, so I would suggest we use this bit to step onto this bit. I know. It's now going to probably snap and sink in, yeah. Probably it's will. already snapped there. Mm. I don't like this. I can go first. This, living, this thing is in the real wrong position. Okay, well it's not uh, it's I don't something with my weight, so if you hold onto that and go round. I don't remember this bit. I think I might do it. it looks like a seesaw. See? I don't like this. I can do it. 
Okay, I think I'm going to turn the camera off because I don't want to fall in while filming. Or fall in at all. The path is gone. Oh, good grief. I think the path has gone. So they sent you down a route where there's just path. Yeah, disappears. they said to go this way. The it's sign was pointing this way. No path there. there is no path there, no. There is absolutely no path there. Huh. I, mean, I cannot even see where it would go on. To the left, I would assume, but that is overgrown completely. Yeah, there's no pathway there now. No. It's gone. Great. No. How do we end up going somewhere different this time? I don't know. Yeah, so we'll ignore the sign that tells us to go left. And, and go, we'll go straight on. I think right it is instead. straight on. I, d I don't think it is that way. Well, I think it's that way. The sign is saying to go I know left. it is. And yeah. that's definitely another path. It's definitely well. It's a path, but it doesn't go anywhere. <laughs> yeah, and then stops. Okay. So I'm okay, guessing everybody probably comes right. back and walks this way. Slow down, Pud. They're definitely now on the right path. I love this pathway. Yeah. Covered in these branches. I don't know how they've created that. But it has to be man-made. It's got to be, because it's too odd that there's mm. nothing else like this. Yeah, it's all flat around, and then this high sort of path that rises up. I know, and then the trees have grown in their roots into it. Mm-hmm. It is weird. It is. But beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Isn't it, Julie, really? Beautiful. Yeah, it sure is. Yeah, Julia just sat on this bench. Only then did I notice that there's a wallaby sat right, right behind her. Wow. But it must be about a meter away from us. Hmm. It's unusual to be that close to a wallaby. Hmm, very unusual. And doesn't seem to be bothered. Mm-mm. It doesn't. We are now finished our walk around Balaf Karaks and uh, that was quite awesome ending, wasn't it? Yep. Seeing the wallaby right next to you. Yep. Mm. We are now in Elfin Glen. It's a glen near Ramsey. We're looking over Ramsey Town. later than in everywhere else in the island. So we are a little bit early in the season here, but it's still a very, very beautiful place. And it's a beautiful walk to take. Glen Helen is the place where we go for a walk most often. It is beautiful in any time of year, but especially autumn. Another favourite place for us and many Manx residents during autumn is St John's Arboretum. It is just a really pretty park with beautiful trees and a nice pond in the middle that houses a few ducks. It is also frequented by a cockerel and a very friendly black cat.
Thank you so much for watching. Please hit that like button and subscribe down below for more videos. Bye!